Hi, this is Dory, and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to discover the most beautiful locations, and our goal is to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So thanks for following, and welcome to our channel. Hello from beautiful Florida and today we get to tour another beautiful camper. This time it's a pop-up Palomino truck camper. Now we've seen them on the road before but we've never had a look inside except for the Gladiator pop-up truck camper and we've actually never seen a Palomino so this is going to be lots of fun. We're going to learn a lot today and we're going to meet Mary and Fred. Hi, I'm Fred. And I'm Mary. And we are the, the Edo Campers. Campers. What we have here behind us is a, it's a 2021 Palomino uh, 1251 soft side on the back of an F-150 2.7 uh, EcoBoost. It's got a pop-up roof, goes up about 22 inches, so you can stand up inside of it. And if you're short, you can use it just like she is. fridge. I think it's like four cubic feet. You got uh, instant hot water. It's not a Truma. It's a, a Gerard, but it works. And uh, so you can use less water, I guess. So I, we just we just keep it to like 104 hot tub water. And then you don't have to spend half your shower mixing it because this does have a, a full bath and a, a wet bath. You got a heater, works really good. Uh, outside shower, and then 30 amp, you got your city water connection, and then you got your just regular water connection. Well, no, this is, this is the uh, gray tank for the sink. There is no gray tank for the sink. Oh. The like sink comes and drains right here. So we have a hose, we hook it up to a little bladder, you know, five gallon bag to fill it up, or we can run it directly into for pulling a sewer, we can hook it into the sewer hose, but, but it will kind of rust this if you let it run all over it. it took us a while to learn that, so got to get a little bit of paint on there. And that's our new project this train. That's our, that's our project for this camera. Always something to do on an RV. Okay, well we have these on all four corners. Normally we don't have them on, but because we're uh, going to take it in and have some work done Tuesday, it's safe to have it. Uh, basically you can, uh, you got to move, remove the happy jacks that hold the camper to the truck. And then these can go down, right? They're electric, or with a man who override if you need it. And then that lifts the camper up so you can drive away. So if you wanna, you don't have to take your house with you everywhere you go. We have a ton of storage in here. This is our bin, one each, magnetic. We've got a Hughes auto former in there, 30 amp. And this is the bladder I was talking about, sewer hoses, water hoses, that kind of stuff. That's all you get. But we do have the garage. The back seat of the truck is our garage. We took oh, the seats out. That's great. We also have a 20 gallon propane. It's in there. Standard, you can swap them out, get them filled, whatever. And of course we put a gauge on it. So, and it pretty much we keep it off unless we're uh, over 90 or something like that. We need propane. We'll use it for cooking and heat. It's real, a lot easier than using a couple batteries. Cause that's all we got is two uh, lithiums. So that's it. And then we've got down here, this is the gray water and sewer outlet, which is right there. Fancy, fancy. And honestly, it's easier to go from underneath. <laughs> so, but it looks good. Yeah, right. Do you enjoy the awning windows? Uh, actually, no, because the seat cushion leans up against this now. If I shut it, this bar closes in, and then I don't worry about it, but when I have it open, there's about an inch little nub that sticks out in your back. So it's kind of, you gotta be, oh, sit, don't sit there. So yeah, it's kind of a pain, but 
Yeah. And on the other side? Uh, you have a kitchen window, but it doesn't open. Oh, that's too bad. I know. But we put a, a, a Max Air vent fan in. It's running right now. It runs all the time. Okay. Because we got solar. So. Is that something that came with the camper? It came with the fan, but it wasn't the Max Air. We, we added that. We've done a lot of special mod modifications. And is that a generator I see under there? It's a little Honda. Okay. Yeah, it's the uh, EU 2200. All right. All right. We got that because it's really quiet. Okay. And uh, and it's tiny. So tiny always helps. And uh, we've, we've only used it once. We do have three solar panels up there. And uh, we have, of course, the air conditioner. So this isn't one of those you're going to lift by hand. You need a little mechanical assist. So we have, these. that's what the electric actuators are for. And they're noisy and slow, but they get the job done. And you only got to put them up, put them down. That's it. Um, we decided to live in an RV probably about eight years ago. Uh, we started going out camping in our RV. And we found that we were out every weekend, every holiday, most of the summer. And we didn't want to come home. And so we knew when we retired that we were going to go full time, sell everything, and um, live in our RV. I've owned the, the original RV for about 14 years. And then when I met this lovely lady and introduced her to it, and she, she used to go tent camping a lot. And when she met the RV, she fell in love, and we did spend a lot of time in the RV. So we had been planning on going uh, full time, and then when the pandemonium all broke out, it just, that was the time to go. So, and then this is how we extend our steps. Those are torque lift steps. Very nice, very stable. They do the job. And I guess they're not too heavy. But when you have an RV, you have to have backups. So you never know. Yeah, that's a good idea. Plus, we have to use that to unlock the, the locks on to lift the uh, roof. Do it. Great. Ooh. So that's a big difference between being popped uh, up and being down. Yep. Yeah, I got to hunch a little bit. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, if you need yeah. to come in here and get something. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, let's pop it up. So we use our step stool because I'm short. Um, I can't reach up there. If you're six foot two, you're fine. Since I'm short, I climb up the steps. I unlock the pan and pull it down, just like that. And there's one in each corner. And that's the hardest thing you have to do here. So you have these. All right, the next step is you come in here, and there's a little button up here. Okay. And you press that, and that little green light comes on. That means the system is active. And then you just check it. Okay. And it's got that red light. If you hold it, if you hold it down, the light will turn green. Green is for ground, so it'll bring the uh, the jacks down, and if you uh, if it's red, red is for roof, so it'll take the roof up. They say that the unevenness of it going up and down is the back goes up first and the front goes up second. There's no third. And so if there's water, it'll run off the front of the truck instead of coming down here and getting all wet. So, good story. I don't know if it's true. Can you crank it? Your really you can cool. manually crank it. You can pack a lunch. It's going to take a while. Pack a lunch. There's a, under here. What do you see up in there? Yeah. And you use a, a, an 11, a 7 millimeter socket. Hmm. And uh, you can put that on a, a, on a drill. I suggest a, a brushless motor in your drill and have two batteries. What do you think are the benefits of this lifestyle? Um, I think it's meeting people. 
getting to explore the, the country. Um, small living is wonderful. I think it's, it's easier to take care of, to be honest, <laughs> inside. And um, just being outdoors more and doing more sports, more hiking, exploring. I mean, I can't imagine living any other way. So you ready to see the inside? It really is only for about two people. Uh, one. one is not. So I can take this down. This is our, our queen size bed. Um, you can't sleep in it when it's popped down, but um, only when it's up. Yeah. So, and this makes into a bed. We converted it though to make it a wider couch so we don't have a bed available there anymore. But if you were wanting to stealth camp, you could make a bed here and um, stay with it popped down. There are, um, there's two storage bins up there. You see the little knobs for them. They open up and you can store all your clothes in there if you want to. If they go all the way through from the very front to right here. And then you have a little place I store my shoes on the other side. And, and then we just have some cloths that we, sh we store in here as well. There's also storage uh, in here. So both sides are storage. And they came with soft-sided cabinets. Now I don't like them, so I'm starting to look for uh, different ideas. So there's a tall one that's here. I want to replace that eventually with something. And this one, of course, being short, is very hard to get into. Mm -hmm. And it blocks up my light. True. So I don't like that. Yeah. What I want to do is try to get some baskets. Because as long as you stay below this metal line, yeah. then you don't have to take anything down. Now these push down into the um, top. So it's okay to leave those. We do have another cabinet that hangs up here but we choose not to use it because it hangs down here and you bump your head on it when you're sitting in the seat. Oh. The kitchen um, does have a small sink. It has hot and cold running water, as well as there's an electrical when you are up to shore power, there's an electric unit there. We do have a two burner gas stove here. That's great, I love this. I know, for the silverware, that is brilliant. This was one of my first uh, mods I had and put one of these up for the knives and the silverware so they don't get lost. We only keep like, you know, you don't need that us. much, really. And that's, you know, that's all that's in here. Um, I do not like the windows in here okay. um, because this one does not open. Eventually, we'll take this off and put curtains and rod, you know, curtain rods and curtains up. It is a three-way fridge. It's actually really good. Um, has a little freezer. It's tiny. Lots of space in there, though. There it is, and it works really well. So we keep it, um, during the day we usually use our um, solar power to work it. At night we'll convert, you know, put it onto the, um, onto the propane. And then of course the first shore power, it also works there. And your, all your gadgets are right there. Well, I see what you mean about the airflow. Yes. So you have the air conditioner, but you also have uh, the max fan. We do, and it makes it um, much cooler in here. And all these windows will open up, so they roll. So to open the windows, I'm not gonna do it all, but you roll this up and you unzipper this and every one of these windows will open up to let oh, the, yeah. the air flow out Amazing. where it pops. So we have a little dining spot here. There actually is a cushion that goes across here, but we're gonna put pillows here instead because it's just not as uh, comfortable, especially when the window is open. That's your emergency exit. We installed a lagoon. So um, it's much easier because the pole used to go right here in the center. It had a old uh, Formica top. So now what it does is it just turns around here, lift it up, mm -hmm. and now you have an extension to your countertop when you're cooking. You can turn it around so it just spins around here and then you lift, but it does, it comes right up to here and I just cut my vegetables over here and I have a lot more space to cook. Yeah, so it extends up. your counter area. It does. And then we also have storage here. So there is a little bit of storage under there. Oh, That's actually where we have the old tabletop leg, I'm not sure why. And I store some canned goods under there. And the bathroom, I'd love to see the bathroom. Absolutely. <coughs> so, so it is a wet bath, it opens up here and you can see it, the curtain comes around when you want to shower. Yeah, wow, cool. And then the water is right there. We do have some vent issues, that's why it's going in the shop, as you see we have a towel there now. Okay. Um, but it did go out under warranty, so we're going to go back and have that fixed. And the it's vent is for the of uh, The black, black tank. tank. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, it still works, it still functions, it, it's just it's just stuck 
kind of it just pops right out of there and it's not supposed to. Okay. And then if you want to open it or I can open it, there's a storage right under there. It's very little, oh. but you can store stuff so that, especially your toilet paper, so when you shower it doesn't get wet. wet. Yeah, great. A little storage down here. This is where all my cleaning supplies go. And they stay really nicely where you're driving down the road. That helps. And then what's this here? It is actually um, a place to get under the sink. Okay. But we have heard there's room under there and we've seen videos. So what we're going to do is unscrew, put a knob here, and this is eventually going to be where we store some of our like soaps and stuff. Um, oh. We have that. And so this is a little place where you can put your sponges. Oh, lovely. Uh -huh. That's really cool. And you have some uh, oh, that's USB another. and 12 that was, volt ports. Yeah, that's another install that Fred and did did set to upgrade it. So I'll send him in here to talk about the electronics. Lovely. Because he's made some changes. The financial benefits for us is we no longer pay a mortgage. We moved to a state, i.e. Florida, where uh, we don't pay state income tax. You know, the only thing we really have is a, a serious diesel fuel bill. I think the biggest challenge living in an RV is, is parking them, especially when they're big. I mean, the truck camper, we can go just about anywhere and park it. But on the Class A, that, that's a little more difficult. I do a lot of planning. We're already, we're planned out to May. I'm the fly by the seat of your pants kind of gal. And I want to go out there and just figure it out and stop day by day. So we, we've spent a lot of time in Cracker Barrels. Not too much Walmart, Lowe's maybe sometimes. But in Arizona, the BLM lands ah, are yeah, plenty. That's, true. So that that's been fun. Yeah, just find the, spot. That's the furnace, right? Oh my goodness, this thing is huge for this little truck. It's like 2200 watts, lots of heat, and over here is the thermostat. And you just turn that on, it's fully automatic, and it'll set it to about where you want it. And you have some USB ports Right, those here. are the only two USBs that came in the camper. And so I added this unit down here which has six USBs and it has two 12 volt cigarette lighter plugs, on and off switch, and uh, a voltmeter. This is the brains of the system. This is the Red Arc Vision system. Okay. And uh, so that is basically, it's got your solar charger, your battery charger, uh, all in one. It takes power from your truck the motor and you can charge off of that. I think there's just three the three are here. Okay. You can pull power you pull power off the solar and charge your batteries or you know from the uh the, oh from one ten. So it also has a one ten bug. So if I plug this in it'll start charging the batteries. Usually as you can see the batteries are fully charged. Because there's I've got the three two hundred watts panels on the roof. We have two 100 hours, that's two Battleborns, and we have room for two more. And then you have some 110 there, and that's your uh, propane detector. Right. And this is what exactly? That's for the water pump. Oh, <laughs> I saw fresh water drain, and I'm like, I don't understand. Would have been nice if they'd put that in the bathroom, but hey. Yeah, right? Yeah, the, underneath this closet, this is all a, a real genius move. Is This is a, like electrical closet here. Water tanks over there. Yeah. I mean, everything's in there. Yeah. So, and you just lift this up to get in. And we've got uh, 10 gallons of fresh water. Okay. <clears throat> we've got 11 gallons of gray water, and we got seven gallons of black. So this is the uh, the Mach, the Coleman Mach 11. Okay. So it's only 1100 uh, watts. So it's you know doesn't, doesn't have a lot of pull, so it's perfect for you know, batteries or a small generator like we have. So and it works really good. You can freeze yourself out. It's also uh, got a heat, a heat pump. And what about the hot water heater? Well, what you do is you turn it on, you set it to the temperature you want your water. Mm -hmm. In our case, 102 to 104. And that way we don't have to mix the water. It just stays at 102, it's on demand. And you got the hot water. The fuse Please. box right down here. All right. And this is the old charger also. And you have your 12 volt fuses in the bottom, and you have your 110s up here, mm -hmm. and then that's the charger and the fan right there. But that's been disconnected. We have a 2,200 watt inverter, pure sine wave. It also has a solar charger in it, and it's a little bit cheaper than say the 
the standard ones, and it's supposedly built like a tank. So we haven't had any is issues with it at all. So I love that tabletop. It's really nice. So you put in these tables yourself, or this? Well, table? we had a pedestal table that went right here. Okay. With a, a distressed formica countertop. So we put the table in, but that table was about this long. Oh. And maybe longer. That was huge. And it's just in this little space, you can't have something like that. So one of the advantages of this is we can pull it up and make it almost level with this countertop. And when it's this way, it's pretty steady. When you come out here, it gets a little flimsy. I'm working on reinforcing it. Mm -hmm. So I'll get there because this is this is a solid book butcher block. Yeah, it's heavy. Teak. It's very heavy, but it's so pretty. It's beautiful. And you oh got to have a gosh. cutting board, so. Yeah, right? And when you're cooking, I mean, you're talking almost uh, 18 inches of uh, extra counter space. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I've been, I treated it with the booze mystery oil. Wow. It's a good stuff. So how tall are the ceilings and how tall are you? Oh, I don't know. I'm 6'1". Wow. So. You got lots of space in here. Yeah, it's there's there's no problem with ceiling height in here. And the bed? How's the bed? Bed, that's a, a, it's a full queen-size mattress. It's a... Surly, surly Posturepedic. Forest River owns them. So they put their mattress in here. So it's not an RV mattress or anything like that. We did, it was it's like four inch. So you bottom out a little bit. And so we put a two inch foam topper on it. This I sleep better in here than I do in the big RV. Oh, I really, really do. Uh, the biggest problem is, not for Mary, she can sit up in here, but uh, I got to hunch over a little bit. When I'm okay. The other thing we put in is, uh, this is an iPod pad holder okay. for movie night. And so it's folded out of the way so when we drop the roof, it won't get hurt. Have you seen this pillow? The boister, I think they call this. Is that for sitting up in bed? Right, we take this, we put it all the way at the back, you know, because it doesn't really work putting a pillow on that soft side. Yeah. So we put this back there, good to go. The remote on the left is for the max fan and the one on the right is for? For the actuators and for the uh, camper jacks. Oh, perfect. Good location right by the door with the fire extinguisher. I have no regrets about the RV lifestyle. We absolutely love it. It's been a blast and uh, I wouldn't live any other way. I can say that uh, the only regret I have is I didn't do this earlier. So if you're asking yourself whether you should get out and do it, just do it. Well, the biggest piece I'll give someone if they want to really start this light lifestyle is one, get an RV, I recommend you rent it, and try it out for a while. Because a lot of people are finding out that you know they thought it'd be a cool lifestyle and they get out here and they, they don't like it. So you wanna make sure you like it. You know, Like I said, we did it for, I did it for 14 years before we went full time. You wanna make sure you like it. Go go out in the tent, you know, get your, camp in your car, you know, and just work your way. You know, get what you got and go, go out and do it. I started years ago, back when I was little in a tent, and uh, so we didn't always just start out in the Class A ourselves. So I could see myself doing this for many more years. Um, just taking the truck camper out to smaller spots, locations, going different places. Um, I think Fred's kind of likes to sit still, and I'm still very mobile and moving, so I could do it the rest of my life. Well, I do worry about how long I continue doing it, but. I'm going to continue doing it as long as I can. Maybe I'll teach uh, Mary to drive the bus. So we'll just continue till we just can't anymore. Thank you guys so much for giving us a tour of your beautiful Palomino. Now let us know where we can find you on YouTube and Instagram. We're the Edel Campers. That's E-D-E-L-K-A-M-P-E-R-S. Yeah, I know. Good luck with that. But, uh, hey, we're there. So. We're going to have it right here, guys. Right uh, here. Oh. There you go. So check us out at the Edel Campers on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. We really hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that subscribe button, like, and if you have a question about this beautiful camper and the Edel Campers, put it in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video. Our family thinks we're crazy about our lifestyle. Um, they come and visit us sometimes in the RV and they just kind of shake their head and we're like, we couldn't do this. And um, I think they, they enjoy some of the places we go because they will come out and visit us. Yeah, they do, they do. We even have uh, 
our son who gave we gave the uh, class A to. It's it's been parked for what two years now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they haven't gone anywhere. They say we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay. Say so. That's the mentality you don't want to have. I was going to say, what's funny is our family thinks our Class A is so little and they could never live in it. And um, then once we got the truck camper, um, it really was a different story. Now they're like, no way. <laughs> yeah, right. I think we could fit, like you said, probably could fit the truck camper inside of our rig. Awesome. Let's go see inside. Let's check it out. Yeah.